Ken Reed yeah. is saying no deadlines for health care. We thought the president had a deadline. You folks had a deadline. Get it mm -hmm. done this year in the inaugural year. Is that still your goal? It's still our goal, and quite frankly, Chris, I think that's still the goal of the United States Senate. We've seen uh, progress made on both sides of the aisle. We're waiting on some budget scores for the Senate bill, but we, uh, we know the House is going to move pretty quickly on voting on this. Uh, this is going to get to the president's desk before the end of the year, uh, and I tell you, if you want a change you can believe in, it's going to be health care reform in 2009. With us now, we've got NBC News White House correspondent Savannah Guthrie. Change we can believe in, health care 2009. Uh, Savannah, um, what's, I, what's Robert talking about? Harry Reid says we're not going to get it till next year. Oh, well, but didn't Reid kind of clean up that statement after he said it? He said, uh, no timetables, which got everybody whipped up into a frenzy. And then he corrected it, saying he still thinks it could be done by the end of the year. And, you know, I just talked to a senior official yesterday and put it to them straightforwardly. Really, you, did you really still expect to get a bill this year? And this person told me, yes, they think they can have a, a bill for the president to sign before Christmas. Savannah, why do they keep doing this? Because the White House talked about August. We're going to have it by August. They didn't get it by August. Then we heard September. We're going to, then October. Now we're going to get it by the end of the year. There's got to be a, re and, and they know, like the guys from Politico said this morning, you're running out of days. And yeah. good luck. Yeah. I know. Good luck telling people you're not going on your Thanksgiving break and you're not going on your Christmas break. Because here's the other side of that, Savannah, and I'll be very brief about this. If I'm Speaker of the House and I want to remain Speaker of the House, I'm telling my people, we got to get you back in your district, holding yeah. town hall meetings, doing constituent services. They can't stay in D.C. It makes yeah. them even more out of touch with their voters. Yeah, and when you look at the legislative calendar, it really puts it in stark relief that there are fewer and fewer days, but they still believe it can be done. I mean, part of the holdup here is that they're waiting on CBO scores, and that's something that's largely out of their control. But look, I mean, we remember this when the first couple of deadlines slipped this summer. The president said, if you don't put a deadline on things in this town, it won't get done. And presumably he's still sticking to that theory right. that if he puts a hard deadline on something, even if it slips by a few weeks or a few days, he's better off than had he left it open-ended. And, you know, Willie, it's like we, we have the, 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 the rule around here. If you don't put a deadline on it, you don't ever get anything done. And if you put a deadline on it, you don't get anything done. No, you miss it. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's very consistent. <laughs> that. Same thing in Washington. Very consistent yeah. that way. Consistent. Nothing gets done. Hey, Savannah, we keep hearing right. that if this gets pushed to next year, an election year, an election year, that could be disastrous for the president and for health care reform. Why is that? Explain that for people. Well, it's because everyone's running, particularly in the House, everybody is running for re-election. So what they don't want to do is take a tough vote. Uh, once you get into that election year, everybody's really distracted. It's just the conventional wisdom that if you want to get anything done, it's got to be in this off year. I mean, I suppose that if it slips to January, the first few weeks, I mean, they won't stand on ceremony and st on principle that it's technically an election year. But if you started getting into February, March, later in the year, it really does jeopardize what you're able to do and members are really focused on running for re-election which is almost a, an, another entire full-time job a third of the Senate up same thing so um, it's not just health care by the way you've got energy legislation that the president wants to move through uh, so it, so there's no question they really want to get as much done this year as they possibly can Katie Kay. Savannah talking about getting lots of things done is there any rethinking after Tuesday of the idea that Heineken, the whole Big Bang theory of coming in and trying to tackle all of these things may have been a mistake? Are you hearing any officials in any way saying to you, maybe we actually what we should be doing is, you know, cap and trade later, health care reform perhaps a bit later, let's focus on those jobs? You know, they really don't go there, and we asked senior officials as recently as yesterday that very question, particularly when you look at the exit polling that came out of Virginia and New Jersey, voters so concerned about the economy, although here at the White House they say, you know, you really don't need an exit poll to figure out that people are really worried about the economy. But uh, they're not second-guessing it, certainly uh, not to reporters even behind the scenes, because, look, this is the whole premise of their administration. To admit an error like that is to basically admit that you screwed up the entire first year, and I don't think they want to do that. And also, I think they really do believe that, for example, health care reform is integral to the economic arguments they're trying to make. They think okay. it's integral to deficit spending control. 
granted over the long term, you've got to get those entitlement programs. Yeah. So, th so they think that's part and parcel of their argument, and they're not second guessing it. Okay, Savannah, thank you so much for your report yes. from the White House. We appreciate it. We, you know what, though, where the rubber hits the road, as Ross Bro said, is when you're talking to people like Tom Periello, who we're going to talk to right. in a minute, who's from Virginia. He's in a swing district, uh, and uh, Republicans uh, to have targeted here. him. As one of their top targets. You better talk about the economy and prioritizing. And we didn't even mention financial reform is another thing. But, you know, what do you need to address to keep your constituents happy? I mean, and I think the economy is number one. Okay. All Thanks right. so much, Sandy. Let's really cover once again of uh, your magazine this CEO week. CEO of the decade. And there really is no competition unless, of course, you're running GE or Comcast. <laughs> we appreciate you being here.